Try our website. I, I want here. Michael to tell us whether that was just a, a, a was that a probing question or was I he want serious? Michael to take a long walk on a short pier. What are your thoughts on dryer wet sensors that are coming out as opposed to using conductive paste in terms of digital signal processing? I have not used any of the dry sensors. I had that I had that twenty thousand dollar rig put out of my head, and I said I can't wear this for more than ten minutes. This is re- with the ratchet thing. I'm like I'm out you know, for is twenty grand. I'm not, I'm not even. Sensor, they're say all again. Wet. Is there a such thing as a dry sensor? Right here. Yeah. I thought they're all, you got to have some kind of moisture in there. If it's metallic, uh, it's not a good dry sensor uh, (laughs) because that has contact jitter. Any of the better designed ones have a polymer coating. They may be polymer over top of silver chloride if they're really well designed, but that, that polymer ends up being a damp. It picks up moisture from the skin and quite a few of the, Dry sensor companies actually have the ability to put a little bit of water on their sensor or water on the hair next to where the sensor is going to be if you can't get good contact. So the the polymer coating ends up making a gigantic difference in the quality of the signal because it maintains better contact. Uh, Solid metal, uh, shiny metal uh, uh, contacts are uh, not going to give good contact. Uh, um, that said, the dry sensors have a super high input impedance. So the skin impedance itself, as long as you're maintaining contact, the skin impedance is relatively irrelevant. You don't need to be between 1K and 5K uh, ohms of resistance and balanced plus minus 1K because the input impedance on the amplifier is so high, skin impedance between one and a thousand isn't any different. The, uh, uh, the, that's an insignificant difference compared to the input impedance. So the, the modern amplifiers make skin contact other than actually having some contact irrelevant. Impedance isn't tested. DC offset is. You see if there's electric contact. If you're in contact, that's fine. Uh, uh, the 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 very high density you've probably seen the the uh, they soak them and then they just put them on it's a grid mm-hmm. of of electrodes 256 spots you've seen perhaps mm-hmm. the Dalai Lama's monks on a cover of a magazine with a grid of electrodes over their head you know how they make electrode contact for those if your amp doesn't qualify they take a a lance. 256 times you're going to get poked with a needle to make contact. We're back uh, to that no, again. If, if your amp qualifies, you don't have to do any of that. You just have to show that there's no DC offset. And you, you've got Guys, this, this is not good publicity for our we're doing the We're doing the thing again. It's, <laughs> it's the real, we're back, we're it's, back to the needles again. It's, it's real, Jay, you know. Jay, is it, is the it reality is the... 256 electrodes is only in a research laboratory. You're not going to walk into a clinical operation and have 256 electrodes put on your head for any reason for clinical purposes. That's a research tool. Underlying this conversation for me is, is the Muse headband going to give you an adequate signal for processing for neurofeedback? I don't pick out the, I'll pick out the, I, 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 there are others. I should just pick out Muse. There are other I, of these, you know, inexpensive. If you're doing, if you're doing ERPs, it's okay. Because for event related potentials, the EG averages out. Mm-hmm. So is it adequate for EEG? Not really, but event-related potentials are average, a whole bunch of them together. You can get a pretty good ERP signal out of a reasonably cheaper amp. But Right, uh, but I think the underlying Craig's question of frontal placements of sensors, mm -hmm. I'm going to infer there's the handful. Mm -hmm. I mentioned one. There are others similarly designed uh, because of, you know, the bio, the uh, yep. the uh, the, uh, the physical reality of how do you how do you affix something to someone's head? You're kind of left with a headband mm-hmm. arrangement. There's there's not much else you can do. So you no, a lot of times it's spand- spandex caps, caps like yeah. Electrocap International. Right. The the spandex cap ends up being uh, done for a brain bit, uh, and they have dry sensors that are put wherever whichever one of the ten twenty sites you want to use for four of them all the way up to nineteen of them. 
and uh, it, once you have that strapped on and stable, uh, it gives you a reasonably good recording. It's it's not heavy. Um, uh, the the electrodes aren't um, uh, pin cushions, so it's not. Uh, it, it doesn't put people off the same way as, as some of the heavier headsets uh, have. Right. Um, uh, but uh, uh, the brain bit has been demonstrated uh, recently at uh, the brain hacking. Uh, Giancarlo Licata uh, 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 took a 19 channel brain bit that he had pieced together uh, to show the brain hackers uh, kind of how it's done by somebody who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I think he, he, I think well, he duly, duly impressed yeah. them. Well, exactly. But that's part of the question. Anybody, you know, a average consumer tuning into this, you know, they're seeing on Amazon or they're seeing in their mm -hmm. feed, you know, some advertisement for I've got this, you know, Lycra sock with a couple of sensors built into the front and it's going to do neurofeedback mm -hmm. and it's going to cure your anxiety. That's what they're seeing in the advertising. Yeah. And, and I think that that's a kind of a, I think what we're all talking about here is I think the signal quality is insufficient. I, I can't even imagine what the algorithms are. The, you know, claims, in a, in a, in a, the claims of the manufacturer are beyond general health and wellness at that point. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you, you need to watch what you're <clears throat> purchasing. It's still buyer be well out, uh, beware mm -hmm. out there. It's mm -hmm. uh, and and you can buy good remote training devices. You can buy good dry sensor devices, but don't expect them to be cheap necessarily. Right. So, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, that's, that's the, the byline on all of this is people are looking for the answer to why is helping my brain reorganize, get better, whatever their, their metaphor is for it. Why is it so expensive and why does it take so long? 